Exclusive Tribus Plan to release Namde Kano. Start by Southeast Nigerian Politics. Imo Governorship Pool. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my noble channel where we tell you the truth the way it is. Do not forget I am going to analyze this news after my flesh read it. See, so it's in your own interest and mine. You should listen to the news to the end so that you will not say that we are not told. Now let's go ahead with the news in detail. Namde Kano, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, iPod would have regained his freedom, but for Imo state, politics, and the forthcoming governorship election in the state, Sir Reporter can exclusively report. Kano, the leader, of indigenous people of Biafra was on June 19, 2021, adopted from Nairobi Airport in Kenya, and then detained and tortured for about 10 days in Kenya. Under Muhammad Buhari's administration, Kano was subsequently flown by private plane from Kenya to Nigeria later in June 2021. Since Kano was brought to Nigeria to face trial for treason charges, he has been detained in solidarity confinement at the headquarters of the Department of State Service, Nigerian Secret Police, in the capital city, Abuja. Mr. Kano, a British citizen, has requested consular assistance from British government, but they are being fed. However, sources in the presidency told a reporter on Friday that President Bola Ahmed Dinibu would have ordered the release of Kano, but he was advised against doing so at this time by some politicians close to him. <laughs> Again, our reporters learned that Tinibu was advised to hold on the after Imo state governorship election scheduled for November 11, 2023, as Kano's release before then could have political implications in the southeast region the release of namde khan was starred by the southeast politics of imo they claim to tinibu that his release might affect the election in imo state so the president waited one of the source told our reporter On Sunday, another separate leader, Sunday, Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Iboho, who was in Kotonou, Republic of Benin, capital, said that he was now legally free to return to Nigeria after two years. Iboho, who has since left Republic of Benin to see his family in Germany, disclosed that he was now free to return to Nigeria and visit any country in the world. The European National Agitator said he had fulfilled all the legal conditions attached to his bail a few years back and he is coming home to Nigeria, according to him, my country of origin, any moment from now. Iboho was arrested on July 20, 2021, at Cardinal. Bemadin International Airport in Kotonou, while trying to travel to Germany three weeks after he was declared wanted by Nigerian secret police, the Department of State Service DSS. Nigerian government made a fault to have Ibuho expedited to Nigeria from the public opinion, like it was done in Kano's case, but fair. He was later granted bail by Benin, the public court, and was allowed to remain in Kotonou. Iboho commended some prominent Yoruba indigenous politicians, the media academic, and monarchs for the support he enjoyed in Kotonou. Sahara reporters had reported that Court of Appeal in October 2022, the charge canon of the court, can't fight against him. The appellate court subsequently barred any further arrest, detention, and trial of Kano by the agent of the government. The Nigerian government later appealed against the judgment at the Supreme Court and subsequently got another panel of the Court of Appeal to stay. 
the judgment of the appellate court despite the judgment in favor of Kano, he has remained in solitary confinement at facility of the DSS. On Tuesday, Kano, through one of his lawyers, Aloyji Mako, said the court of appeal should not consider adjourning the hearing on Apple's appeal challenging its prosecution as a terrorist organization by the Nigerian government. The Abuja Division of the Court of Appeal in March 5th, October 16, to hear the appeal filed by Apple to challenge its proscription as a terrorist organization. The Nigerian government, under former President Muhammad Buhari, proscribed Apple over his alleged killing and another atrocities in his agitation for the actualization of Biafra Nation. On January 18, 2018, 2018 a federal high court sitting in Abuja heard that the proscription of IPOL by former President Buhari government was in order. Justice Abdul Abu Kafari, <laughs> you can hear the name, Fulani, of the federal high court proscribed IPOL based on the S part motion filed by the then Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abu Bakar Malami Sam. On behalf of the Nigerian government, specifically declaring as illegal or IPOB activities, particularly in the southeast and south south region of Nigeria. But the group approached the court of appeal, insisting that the trial court had in law. He pleaded with the court to set aside the order of the lower court and the motion as part. IPOB in five grounds of appeal, contending that Justice Abba Kafari erred in law and occasioned a miscarriage of justice when he ruled that the mandatory stationary condition requiring Buhari's approval under Section 2 1C of the Tourism Prevention Amendment Act 2013 was satisfied on the authority of a memo the AGF issued on September 15, 2017. <laughs> now that I've come to the end of the news, my analysis, first of all, we all know who is keeping Namde Khan before it was Buhari and British government. Now it is British government Abola met Tinibu. Look, Tinibu was brought into office illegally with the help of Buhari and British government. A little note was signed to come not to keep Khan in custody. Depends on when they want to release him. Court has certain on the Kalufri, and this criminal that called himself leader has got to keep him in communicado. And you still see some Yorubas who come out on the internet and make noise. You still see some Fulanis who make noise on the internet. So I ask myself a question. Even though the Fulanis are making noise because we know them as those who always doesn't like to talk about their own problem. Rather, they prefer to talk about a man like Nam de Kalu who didn't commit any crime because he asked for the freedom of his because he said he wants us to have a referendum to leave Nigeria. Is this not the problem? Why they are against him in any way? But I am so surprised that some tribalistic Yorubas will also come to the internet and start a reporter here. They will continue talking out of a total sort of rash. Whereas their president, Ebola Medinebu, has no certificate. Everything about him is fake. Apart from being a drug lord, that I cannot hold against him. That was his past. Unless, of course, he's still doing that. Even though that is not welcome when it comes to being a leader in Nigeria. But the court has said, let him remain president. Even as he read him to office with help of Buhari and the British government. I am not the one of the those who rant. I tell you the things the way it is. So I don't dislike him because of that. What I dislike him because, because he came into office as a president, whether legally or illegally, he continued to keep a man that God has set free in custody. That is why I dislike Bola Medinibu. Nothing else. Not because the election was rigged. After all, the election did not start being rigged today in Nigeria. They started rigging the election a long time ago. Buhari was also rigged into office. In 2015. Some of you don't know this. As far as APC is concerned, they have come to stay. They are evil. They are blood sucking demons. That is why, since they came into office, they have killed so many Nigerians. In fact, you cannot count how many people they have killed. 
especially in Imo State. People say 10,000, people say 15, people say 7, of recent 10, I'm missing Raja, say 5, and so many others have said 10, exactly the amount that I've continued to say. So you can see, the same APC government are the ones who saw the brokers of innocent Biafran citizens that they kidnapped, both from Obibo, with help of wicked, that idiot that's right now somewhere in Abuja as a minister. So that will tell you that in this contraction, anybody can be committing so far as you are eating and dying with all those criminals and terrorists that are leading Nigeria. That is just it. If they tell you that your vice president will be shitting, my man who was caught in audio planning coup against some ethnicity, Igbo ethnicity, with a European man, how they are going to beat them down, they are going to destroy their business and everything. And that business is something that they continue to destroy today, both in Lagos State and every other part in the country. Upon today, upon that, today he is your vice president. And the court says he should remain there. That will tell that you don't have any judiciary in Nigeria. Even the so called constitution of Nigeria is dead and gone. Because after all, it was created by the military. So don't give a damn about it. They know that that is just a piece of paper that the leaders don't give a shit about it. They don't care about it. They, they despise it. That is why they want you to obey that bait, but they cannot well obey it. That is why you see president always feeling on top of the world that he's above the law. A court give an order, but president say remain there. Because the DSS are acting under president of Nigeria. Meaning that DSS are also above the law. Or let the president tell them what to do. They don't obey court. So what are we talking about here? Now, Shogun is talking about that uh, Tiribu refused to listen to the Khalid because of one useless Imo gubernatorial election. But the truth is that, if Hobos did not think, because already we know that he is part of those who plan the kidnap of Nande Kano. If he thinks maybe uh, because of Nande Kali is in custody, he is going to win another election. For that reason, Nande Kali should continue to remain in custody. He's wasting his time. If we may light allow us of them not to remain their governor, that will be their own problem. That's the truth. And that is why when I look at those who claim they are Biafra waiting, Biafra soldier, whatever I call themselves, I don't know who created them, I don't know where they're coming from. Carrying only AK-47 with some local machine gun. They never see anything. Making noise everywhere, never see anything. People who cannot go to barrack and stage attack against those terrorist military recruited and sent to land that is causing mayhem in our land. But you see them make noise. When they kill five soldiers, soldiers will come and kill 20 or 50 civilians of Igbo land. If they continue to kill like that, can't, don't you see that we will finish in no time and our land will be taken over. Planet Janja will bring broth. Some of them came from Mali, some come from Senegalese terrorists, they will put them in our land. That is one to one thing why I dislike those people that claim they are not fighting for freedom. Who doesn't have single respect for Namde Khan, who has sacrificed so much in this struggle? Right? They are dumb. Stay somewhere in desperate, making noise, ordering youth, small, small boys, uh, in the name of claim they are soldiers. All sort of rubbish. It's quite unfortunate. <laughs> who no know who? Not the column, friend. But I have to tell you something today. In most state governor election, Opus Dema can never be a governor of Imo State again, unless Imo Light allow him to remain there. That is the truth. If that is the plan of the so called Nigerian government, though I don't believe in that rubbish, but the truth is this Tinibu, British government are the ones keeping them they can. But there is time where we wait and reach, we no longer want to wait. Something else will start happening. I've said this before. It's not only what is happening in Igbo land. Those people that call themselves soldiers in Igbo land are just there allowing their people to be killed and they call themselves Biafra soldiers and they are everywhere. In fact, they are even heading kidnapping their own people. Cynthia Okereke said that after he was released, she was released. And that led to her death. Our own people were the ones that kidnapped her and the other actor. It was not for any terrorist even though we know have several flying terrorists still operating in our land. They came in with military uniform, recruited by Nigerian soldiers, and today our land is covered with different things. But that does not mean we have, not, have, have to say, not say, we will not say the truth. 
because we know that our people are also contributing in everything. But like I was saying before, I deviated. Those of them will not succeed in his plan to become Imo governor again. Unless the Imo people are sleeping. Unless they allow themselves to be used. Unless they allow Hanese to use them. But like I said, time shall tell. I think I've come to the end of this news. Please drop your comment in the comment section, share, and remain blessed. Cheers.